Why does the moon change shape in the sky over time? In this model, it's clear that the moon orbits around the Earth. But please note, this is sped up. In reality, it takes about 29 days for the moon to complete one orbit around the Earth. Since both the moon and Earth are spheres, they are only lit by the sun on one side. Just like on Earth, there is a half of the moon where it's daytime and a half where it's nighttime. Here, we can see the daytime half of the Earth and the moon, and here, the nighttime half of both the Earth and the moon because they are not illuminated. So when we look at the moon in the sky, we only see the part that is lit by the sun. For example, at this point in the moon cycle from Earth, we can only see half of the moon which is the first quarter. Then, the moon continues in its cycle and after a while we reach the full moon. The full moon is when we can see the entire illuminated side of the moon from Earth. Next, the moon continues to progress until we reach what we call the last quarter. At this point, we, again, only see half of the moon. Finally, when the moon completes its cycle, we reach the new moon, which is the moment when we can't see any of the illuminated part of the moon from Earth, so we can't see the moon at all. Now, be aware that in this view, it seems like the moon is blocking part of the sun, causing an eclipse. However, this is because we have been using a schematic view from the beginning, where sizes and distances are not accurate. By pressing the To Scale View button, we will first see the true sizes and then the true distances between the Earth, the Moon and the Sun. We can also see that most of the time the Moon doesn't pass directly between the Sun and the Earth. It passes beside the Sun. It's only when certain conditions are met that the moon passes exactly between the sun and the earth, causing a solar eclipse.